Hi everyone, my name is Richard and I'm the owner of San Diego Cell Phone Repair. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how you can resell unlocked refurbished cell phones for cash in your city. Reselling unlocked cell phones like this iPhone 10, or how about this Samsung Note 9 cell phone? Or how about this one, a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus? All of these cell phones at launch were all $1,000. Today, from my contact, you can buy any of these phones at a wholesale price for a fifth of what they were selling when they were brand new. Now, what do I mean about an unlocked cell phone? For example, if you walked into a T-Mobile store, they will sell you a locked cell phone that only works with T-Mobile. Now, you can get it unlocked, but you'll probably have to go through somebody and pay them to unlock it so you can use it on any carrier worldwide. These cell phones already come unlocked. You can use them on Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, Metro PCS, Cricket, Telcel in Mexico. You can use these on any carrier worldwide. When I first became self-employed, the first thing that I got into was actually reselling unlocked cell phones out of the trunk of my car. I later on also got into repairing cell phones. And that's actually what the majority of my YouTube channel is. I teach people how to repair cell phones. Now, the local popular websites that you would resell these phones locally are Craigslist, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, or even Google. To sell these on Google, you need a website. I use my own website to sell these. That website is sandiegocellphonerepair.com. All right, so remember to look down in the description underneath this video so you can see all the different models and all the prices that you can buy these at a wholesale price. All the different phones from the Galaxy S8 through the S21 Ultra, from the Note 8, through the Note 20 Ultra, all the different iPhones that you can all buy wholesale and resell them locally in your city. And with that, let's begin. All right, so the first phone up is gonna be the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now currently at the recording of this video, which is July the 13th, you can buy this phone for $218. So the phone comes like this, right? Let me take these stickers off. So check that out. When you get these, the phones look brand spanking new. Look, no scratches anywhere on the metal, on the screen, on the back of the phone. Look at the bottom. They legitly look like they're brand new. Now, how about the fingerprint scanner? All right, so we're gonna go look at the fingerprints. We will add fingerprints. Okay, start scanning with the center of your fingertip. So here's a fingerprint scanner right there. So it's reading my fingerprints. And as you can tell, so the reason why I'm doing this is I'm showing you guys that these phones are legit, right? The Galaxy S10 Plus, because I used to have this phone um, before I got my S22, that which I'm using to film right now. But let's just go ahead and just do my fingerprint. We'll just do that. So with the Galaxy S10, right here, there you go. I'll do it again. If you can find the fingerprint scanner without, you know, there you go, see that? I'll do it one more time. There's a fingerprint scanner right there. I'll put my thumb on there. Unlocks the screen, right? So there's a lock screen. There you go. So what else do you see? You see this box, right? So the $218, it only includes the phone. If you want a box like this with the accessories in it, you get charged extra. What comes in there? The charger, this thing, headphones, SIM uh, ejector tool, the cable charger. 
So you have to pay extra for this, and that's $15. Oh, and then this booklet thing right here. What I do is I actually don't buy the box. I just wanted to show you guys. I just buy the phones just like this. So that is the Galaxy S10 Plus. And remember, don't forget to look in the description of the video and you can see all the different phones that, phones that I'm not gonna include in this video, you can see the prices for all the different phones, all the different S series, S20, S20 Ultras, all the Samsung Note phones, Note 10s, Note 20 Ultras, look in the description. Okay, let's move on to the next phone. All right, so the next phone that we have up is the iPhone 10. And this one happens to be in the black color. So you guys see, there's the back, there's the front. And when I was telling you guys about quality, I wanna show you guys something right here. We'll go right here, we'll go to the battery health. Okay, so we'll go right here to battery. We'll go to battery health. And as you see, battery health is at 100%. That's quality right there. This avoids problems down the road. It avoids problems from a month from now. It avoids problems from two months from now. Face ID. Set up Face ID right here. Get started. So as you can see, watch this. Hold on. Let's see if I can get this on film or on camera. All right. All right, let's see. Bam. Face ID works, okay? Here, this phone is like, there you go. So I'm just showing you guys that the face ID works on these phones, okay? All right, so like I was saying earlier, the quality of these refurbished phones is what counts. I'm sure you can probably buy an unlocked iPhone 10 probably for like a little bit cheaper, but you're gonna get a cheap battery in there. The screen quality is probably gonna be like low quality. The face ID might not even work. Use my contacts that I have for these phones. So how much does this phone cost? So this iPhone 10 at one time when this was released, it was a thousand dollars. I bought this phone for $220. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about is that there's two different types of iPhones that you can buy. You can buy the fully refurbished iPhones that look like they're brand spanking new, zero scratches, or you can buy one like this, where they call it A-grade, used but in mint, almost mint condition, A-grade. So as you can see, this phone practically looks brand new, but it's considered A-grade because if you look on the bottom right here, it has several scratches where somebody was putting in the charging port, right? But as you look anywhere else, the phone looks brand spanking new. And I don't think customers actually care if there's a little bit of scratches right here, right? So since this is an A-grade phone, you can buy these for a cheaper price than if this was fully refurbished with zero scratches anywhere, right? Okay, so remember that. 220 for an iPhone 10, 64 gigs. And of course, you can buy the box with all the, with the charger and everything for $15 extra. All right, so the next phone that I'm gonna get into is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Let's take off these uh, plastics right here. And as you can see, this is a fully refurbished phone. No scratches anywhere whatsoever. You look on the bottom, see if I can get that in focus.
Anyways, this, this phone legitly looks like it's brand new. You can't even tell. Let's go into the uh, screen right here. How about the quality of the OLED screen? Do you see any burned in marks in the background or anything? Nope. How about the S Pen right here. Now look at this. As you can see, the little laser. See, phone is touching it. It's not touching it, but you can still see the little laser thing, right? So when this phone was first released, this phone was also a thousand dollars. But you can buy this fully unlocked refurbished phone, Samsung Note 9. For $194. Resell it for like $300. So on this phone, the fingerprint scanner is on the back of the phone. It's right here. So let's set up a fingerprint. Okay, swipe to add your fingerprint. So it's reading my fingerprints to set it up. I'm not going to fully set it up right now because then I have to go and erase all this stuff out of the phone, right? So the fingerprint scanners work on this phone. If you get iPhones, the face ID works. Everything works how it should work on these phones. All right, so one last time. Remember, this is $194 for the Samsung Note 9. All right, the next phone that we're going to look at is the iPhone XR. And this sticker looks all yucky because I've already taken these off before and I've already checked all these phones. Whenever I get phones, I fully check them anyways regardless. I put a SIM card in there, I make calls with it, I make sure everything is legit, right? Take off the back. There's the front. So you see this one is fully refurbished. You can see there's the back. There's no scratches anywhere. The phone looks legitly brand new. Face ID works on this. Everything that you find is works normal. Here we go to battery health. On this one, battery is health is 99% max capacity. So you got legit batteries in here, okay? All right, one last look before I get into the next phone. Remember, this is iPhone XR. All right, so I think I forgot to tell you guys how much this phone was. This phone is $238. Now, this is fully refurbished. This one is not the grade A. This one's the fully refurbished phone. Now, I can get this for a little bit cheaper if I do order them as in grade A. All right, so the last phone that we're going to look at is a Galaxy S9. Let's remove the stickers. And as you can see, this phone is fully refurbished. There's no scratches anywhere on the phone. See if you can get this on focus. It's probably my fingerprints on here. No scratches anywhere. Let's look at the screen. Look at the white background. This phone legitly, it looks brand new. On the back, swipe that smudge off of there. There you go. Fingerprints work, everything works. These phones even have a face recognition too. So Galaxy S9, when this phone was first released, it was $720. This phone you can buy for $127. This phone does everything that my Galaxy S22 does. If I want to go on Instagram, it's the same Instagram, it's the same Facebook, it's the same YouTube, the same GPS. The only, the major difference between a phone that's a Galaxy S9 versus an S22 is the camera. But since this is still a high-end phone, the cameras don't suck on these phones. I believe this was a 12 megapixel camera on here. But remember, for this phone, $127. You can also buy the box. Let me show you the box. All right, so here's the box. If 
you want to buy this, remember it's uh, $15 more if you want to buy the boxes. Comes like this, comes like this. The charger, everything's in there with the little headphones and the chargers and all that. That's how it comes. But you got to pay extra for the box if you want the box. So if you want access on where you can find these suppliers that to buy from or my personal supplier that I use, all this information is in my cell phone repair course. Click the link in the description if you want to know more about this. The cell phone repair course goes over many other topics and it goes over marketing. Marketing is probably the most important thing of starting a business. That's how you get customers. That's how you get people walking in the door. That's how you get phone calls. That's how you get people to choose you to buy from you. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.